Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. We were still reeling from Deep Six R1 model and now Quen has rattled the cage by releasing this long context model which has 1 million context length. That is huge. When we say context length, what it means is that this much amount of tokens a model can process at one point in time. Now, if you want to generate long novels, long text, then this model could be of a good choice. And this is not the first time that Quen has released a long context model. Previously, in 2.5 family, they have released 128k uh, context length model, which was also quite good. And we have covered all of those models on the channel. So if you're interested, just search with Quen and you should be able to find heaps of videos. In this video, we are going to install this model locally and we will try it out on various benchmarks. Before I delve into the installation, let's have a quick look as what exactly this model is. So this model is a long context version of Coin 2.5 series and it supports up to length, uh, length context length of up to 1 million tokens. It has got improved performance in handling long context tasks while maintaining its capability in short tasks and that is what makes it quite i would say unique and special because i have seen long context models um, really struggle when it comes to short tasks and short ones struggle when it's a long context but this model tries to balance it out and it comes in two flavors 14 billion and 7 billion this model has gone through rigorous pre-training and post-training and it uses ropes to glue RMS norm and QKV bias to improve efficiency and memory consumption. It has got 14.7 billion parameter to be exact and it has got 48 layers. So this is a short intro into the architecture of this model. Let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is my VM in Ubuntu and this is my gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gpu of vram courtesy mast compute if you are also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpu so do check them out let me create a virtual environment and we will start cracking on this new long context model let's install cuda here <clears throat> CUDA is important because we will be installing flash attention so it's I would highly suggest that you also install CUDA and if your GPU supports and of course go with flash attention next up we need to install transformers make sure that you install transformers from the source because that is the only transformer version which supports this brand new model which was just released few hours ago almost there and while that installs let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description okay so should be finished any second now and now let me install the flash attention as i said it's not mandatory but if your gpu supports uh, whether it's hopper or ampere gpu from nvidia i would highly suggest that install this flash attention to improve the inference okay now let me launch my jupyter notebook and then we will download and play with this model and now let's download this 1 million instruct model in 14 billion and the model is being downloaded as you can see there are four shards of it the model has been downloaded as you can see all the eight shards with the tokenizer let's now do the inference inference code is similar which we use with other coin models where we are giving it a prompt where i am asking it to give its thoughts on happiness in a detailed article and then we are just giving it a system prompt because it's alibaba's model and then we are applying chat template we are sending the tokens to the model model is generating the output you can increase 
this new token uh, max new token as much as you like um, for a detailed response and then it is generating the output we are decoding it back with tokenizer and printing out the response so let's run this and we will check the response plus i'm also going to show you the vram consumption in real time and the model has generated the response pursuit of happiness very nice and it has given us quite a detailed answer you can see that it is going on and on and on and it has um, done wonderfully well i would say very good stuff very detailed and if i quickly go through the language you see that it has divided the article in proper uh, sections and if you quickly go through languages like for example look at this one hedonic happiness eudaimonic happiness immediate pleasures and that very nice and then science of happiness so looks quite good the quality of the language in english is quite good as far as this model is again concerned now let's do this uh, let me increase the context length and then we will see what happens instead of one i'm just going to go with two now and then i'm going to rerun this and we will see what happens meanwhile let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to 30 gig of vram not bad for a 14 billion one okay let's wait for it to come back and the model has come back with the response and it has uh, given the same sort of pursuit of happiness but a more detailed one it seems so i have just pasted it here in this word counter online and you see the context uh, length has increased to 2.570 which is quite good not bad at all okay that's good now let's increase it to maybe i would say 5000 i'll just make it this 5512 and then let's rerun it let's wait for it and there you go it has given us the response interesting bit is it is remembering what it is doing so let me copy this all off and then paste over there so i'll just scroll up there you go so now it has 5140 so you can keep increasing that and it is going to keep producing that stuff so looks quite good to me as far as long context is concerned uh, let's quickly check its multilinguality so i'm just asking it to translate this i love you in arabic hindi swahili chinese persian japanese german indonesian and urdu so let's check it out and if you are the native speaker of these languages please also confirm as far as google translate and my previous attempts at other models concerned so i'm just making some educated guesses arabic looks good hindi is also good both male female Swahili is also good. Uh, this one is nice. Chinese, I think it is correct, but please confirm. Persian looks okay to me, but please confirm. Japanese, please confirm. German looks good. Indonesian, I think it's okay, but please confirm. And Urdu is also quite good. I mean, <laughs> so this is a quite, quite interesting in Urdu. Um, this could be similar to what they have said in hindi but that's fine and then it is also giving us a note around swahili that you know this is quite interesting that it says this was initially provided as an incorrect and then it has corrected it so this is quite interesting uh, because it is not self-reflecting self-correcting uh, the original one so but it has uh, sort of did the uh, post self-analysis and give us given us a correct response very interesting never seen it before so quite impressive i would say uh, when it comes to long context and also um, the multilinguality next up let's quickly check its math capabilities so i'm just asking it a graph theory question where we have seven vertices and i'm just asking how many edges are there so if i just scroll down very nice so it has understood the problem correctly and then it is talking about the yep looks good 
very nice and it is saying that this configuration is impossible which i believe is a correct answer but if you are a mathematician and if you disagree or agree please also confirm okay finally let's quickly check how does it do the coding stuff so let me make it fit it into one screen so in this one i'm asking it that to develop a basic ios app using swift that allows users to convert currency values it's simple currency converter which is also calling an external api so let's see let's see how it does the coding normally the coin models are quite good when it comes to coding even the general language models and it has returned us the response let's check it out so it is going step by step and then it is designing the application writing the code looks good to me real good stuff you see how good it looks properly it is calling the external api this is real good stuff so as usual Quinn has really thrown it out of the park and all it is giving us how to test it additional enhan enhancements are also there very well so look very impressed by the 14 million instruct 1 million context model real real good stuff so what a time we are living in uh, i mean we are still enjoying the deep six r1 and now this coin how good is that so that's it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching